Hi, boys and girls. Do you like doing puzzles? I really like doing puzzles. This is something I have been doing a lot of since we've been stuck home because of the coronavirus. And so I don't know if you like puzzles or not, but um, you know, our lives can sometimes be like puzzles too, in a way. And today we're gonna read a Bible story that is kind of, um, kind of like a puzzle that reveals this reveals the truth at the end of it. So I didn't have it in a children's Bible. So I'm going to read it from my paper here. Two men were walking along the road to a town called Emmaus. They were talking about everything that had happened with Jesus. While they were talking, Jesus came and started walking with them, but they didn't know it was him. Jesus asked what they were talking about, and one of them asked him, well, how could you not know? And he told them about how Jesus had died three days ago, and, and that that morning some women had gone to the tomb and found that his body wasn't there, and an angel had said he was alive. Well, then Jesus started telling them about himself and all the things that God had been doing. They ended up inviting Jesus to stay for dinner that night, and while Jesus was breaking the bread, Suddenly, they realized that he was Jesus. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And then he vanished from their sight. As they thought about it, they realized that it was him who had been with them all afternoon. Hmm. Sometimes that's how things are in life. Sometimes things are like a puzzle and we don't see the whole picture. But if we can trust God and believe that he is working all things out together for good, then we can have, we can have peace, even when life is crazy. There's a verse that says that, um, Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. So if we keep our eyes open for Jesus, then we can see that he is always working, even when life is puzzling. So for our craft today, we are gonna make our own puzzle. And so you just need some paper. Um, you could use construction paper, you could use regular paper, um, some kind of coloring utensils, markers, crayons, whatever you wanna do. Um, you're gonna need glue, you're gonna need scissors. And so we're going to draw a picture and it can be whatever you want. You can do this is a picture of um, the, the two men walking along the road with Jesus. Um, so you could do that, or you could do something else if you want, like Jesus loves you, or whatever your, uh, your favorite verse is from the Bible, maybe. So, but it's important to kind of try to cover the whole page. That'll help a lot, okay? So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna add another layer to it. So if you have cardstock, or maybe if you have some kind of cardboard, something that's a little bit thicker, that will help us a lot. So um, we are going to glue this to my piece of cardstock I've got right here. And I would actually probably use glue sticks if I had them, because I think that would work better. Because this Elmer's glue is gonna kind of Kind of, kind of crinkle a little bit, but that's all right. It'll work. So we're gonna glue that together. We're gonna let it dry for a little bit. And then we're gonna cut it into pieces. And when you cut your pieces, be very careful, or mom or dad to help you um, just to be safe. But you can cut it in as many pieces as you want. You can make it just four pieces, or you can make it 25 pieces, it really doesn't matter. You can make them whatever shape you want. You can make them curvy shapes or zigzag shapes, or it doesn't matter, okay? Okay. So now we have our own finished puzzle. I hope you enjoyed that activity. I thought that was pretty fun. So 
you know, right now there's some challenging things happening in the world, right? It's just crazy and it's hard to see um, what God's plan is in all this. We don't know and we don't understand what's happening. Um, but we can trust that in the end, everything will be okay and um, that he's got good plans for us. So let's keep our eyes focused on him. Let's keep praying and let's keep studying God's word and and just let's just trust him together. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, we thank you for your goodness and your grace. We thank you that you have good plans, even in the midst of this coronavirus pandemic that's happening right now. God, help us to keep drawing near to you so that in the end we can see that you had good plans in, in all of this. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless you. Bye-bye.